Well, everyone, you might be wondering and asking yourself, should you still root and custom ROM your Android phone in 2023? Now, I was looking back at some of my older videos, and what's funny is, basically some of the very first videos I ever made were talking about custom ROMing and rooting your Android phones. I used to use my Android on an everyday basis, and that phone had a custom ROM on it. It wasn't Signage Mod, I think it was like Lineage OS or something at the time on my LG G2. And what's crazy is, is that there's, I haven't really heard people talk about rooting their phone or custom ROMing their phone in a very long time. I would say since the last like two to three years, I have seen that community or at least the sentiment of rooting and custom ROMing your phone kind of going down. Although the custom ROMs I feel like are getting much better, I feel like because of the way things have been moving with stock Android with One UI, a lot of those features that we used to want on a custom ROM or even on a rooted phone are kind of already there on our stock phones. And if they're not, we might be able to find you know, workarounds on a stock Android version without having to go ahead and like unlock the bootloader and having to actually root our phone, that is something that you kind of have to keep in mind in the back of your head. Now, here's the thing for some of these devices. If you're planning on going through and rooting or custom roaming your phone, if you have a phone that's currently supported on, you know, stock software on whatever the stock software your phone's on, I probably would not recommend rooting or custom roaming your phone then. I feel like you are much better off staying on the most current version of Android that your phone supports. But if you have an older phone that does support custom ROMing and rooting, you might as well go down that direction and root your specific Android phone. I felt like this since day one, and I still feel like it. If you have a Google Pixel, or if you have a phone that is kind of like stockish version of Android, you might as well stick with it. I think with the chances of you, you know, installing a custom ROM that's, you know, not compatible with your phone or messing up your phone during the root process, I just don't think like there's a huge advantage of custom ROMing your phone anymore. Although there are, there's lots and lots of cool developers who are developing tons and tons of different things for their phones. It just doesn't make a lot of sense personally for me to just recommend people to do that anymore. I feel the same exact way as to jailbreaking your iPhone nowadays. There's just not that big of a reason to, you know, and I feel like once sideloading comes, What's even the point, you know, in my opinion? But with that being said, custom ROMs are very cool if your phone supports rooting capability. Not every phone even supports the ability to root your device. So that's even like another big thing. That's like a huge caveat as well. If your phone doesn't support the ability of, you know, custom ROMing or even rooting, well, then there's no point in even doing it or even going down that road. There's no way to root your phone if there's not a root available. So if you try to install or do a different root that's compatible with another phone, even if it's the same type of phone but a different cell provider, that can also mess up your device as well. So I think in my opinion, there are always reasons to go ahead and root and custom ROM your phone if your phone supports it, but I would probably tell the average person to not even think about rooting your phone. It's a tough process. It's not the easiest thing in the world. And if you are able to root your phone and with like a one-click install, well then custom ROMing your phone, finding the good custom ROM, making sure it's from a trusted developer, things like that can also cause some issues. And it's just probably one of those things I'd recommend avoiding for the time being. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.